afternoon everyone how's it going do you know do you sometimes ever have those days and you think i've got all today to get stuff done and then everything goes completely to pot and you think do you know what i don't even know why i planned it i think today's one of those days well that's all good because i've got a really good tile to get as a little bit focused today so i really do hope you've got your thinking head on now, a little bit of a heads up I just want to make sure, okay, I know some of you actually watch these videos and do it later. My advice is if you, even if you do a quick sketch of this one, grab yourself a little bit of paper and a pencil because our middle section today, I think you're going to need to just follow it through with me, if that makes sense, even if it's on a rough piece. Actually, it's probably better going on a rough piece first, but see how you go. So that's just my heads up. If you've not got a pen and a paper in hand, get one now, okay? All right, with that said, we can take a deep breath now. It's all good. I'm just gonna put my name on my tile. Now I'm using the um, this nice sort of purpley color from the pink tile set that was on Creating Craft of the Week. And uh, so I wanna also bring in, I was gonna write March then. What on earth am I doing? I also wanna bring, I've got my pastel fine liners, a couple of purples as well. There we go. But I'm also going to bring in one of these little babies. And you're like, what do I do with these? Some of these came out in the packs. Uh, you, I don't know if you got white, but you've got a few different colours. I'm going to actually use one of those as well today. If you haven't got any, please don't worry, they're coming. But just cut yourself um, a quarter out of one of the uh, tiles you've already got. This is a little bit bigger, but it, it really doesn't matter. Or you can alternatively, you can just literally draw it straight onto the tile so there's no panic there's no rush about anything don't think you've not got because it's it's all there for you okay <sighs> deep breath there <laughs> okay so first of all then we've written our name and stuff on the back what have i got i've got my micron pen pencil tortillon i've also got with me a white jelly roll pen now my usual essential basics because I'm going to use the white on the, uh, the purple. So, okay, here goes. I'm going to come a little bit larger now. Now, again, if you've not got a small tile, please don't worry about it. What we're actually trying to do is just create a bit of a shape sort of in the middle. You see? So that's where it's sort of going to, it's going to sit. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is just draw around it, but I'm going to use... My white pen okay so just nice and gentle taking my time because this is the first time my pen lid's been off all day so for my white anyway so you just want to sort of get it going there we are okay all right oh Joanne do you know what it's been that kind of a week with getting times and things sorted so uh, I am definitely on creating craft now on Monday, but I'm also on that encore on the following Saturday, and then I'm on the following Monday. So it's uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a week getting all that sorted, but it's all good. We're all done. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little bit of a tile in the middle now. Let's have a look at it. Okay, I'm just going to bring in a regular tile. Um, I don't have. John's ruler with me today, it's in my box. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna line up, see that, that point there and that point there, I'm just gonna create a border around the outside. And I just think sometimes it's just use what you've got to hand. And again, I'm gonna use my white pen. So how are we all liking the sunshine? It's quite nice, isn't it, to have a little bit of summer? Okay, it makes a difference to your day, doesn't it, to, uh, to have something you know, when you look outside, it's a bit brighter. So I know it makes you feel better. So same again, look. Now, of course, you could do this freehand. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of nice to do it that way, but I've got a little bit of a, a grid on the go. So there we go. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna put that corner bit in. So far, so good. I suppose it is, Joanne, yeah. It's, it's coming in from, you know, having a bit of shade. 
Okay, so I'm going to focus on the corners first. I'm going to use a, ta a tangle that we've used before, but you know it's always good to recap, I think, and uh, and then we'll sort of we will we will look at the middle. So I'm, I'm thinking about middle section here. I'm just going to put myself um, a little bit of a triangle in there. You see, see how it's pointing downwards. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the same in each of those corner sections there. A little triangle. Okay, and again, it's pointing downwards, in towards that middle. Don't worry if they're not in the middle. Just sort of gauge it so it's about there. Okay. And then same again into this one. So there's my sort of the flat base bit and then the point goes towards the middle. Okay, so I'm going to just now bring it a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there's my first triangle. All right, so the idea is what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of take off from this line here and I'm going to bring it towards this point, but not to touch it. There we are, towards the point, see, but I've not touched it. Okay, and then this one. So again, I'm going to bring it towards this point here now, but again, I'm not touching. Okay. <laughs> and then round again. And this line, again, just aiming towards here, but not touching. Okay. So I think actually I'm going to... I'm going to do the whole of this one first so you can see where I'm working from. So I'm back to where I started. Don't worry about that little bit there. It's just because I went back over it. With a... There you are. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to come out a little ways. About, about that far. And this time I'm actually going to touch the, the point of that corner there. Turn it round. Same again. So if you sort of gauge, see about there. And I'm going to aim for this corner here. And around and up to that point. And again. So again, from now I've got a little bit of space there. Around and down and into that point. Okay, so we've got that kind of thing going on. Alright, so let's have a look at this point here. What I'm wanting to do is I want this line and this line to sort of join. But see how it looks like it's going underneath. And then this one here, so I'm going to take it underneath and up towards that section there. So then if I turn around, so let's have a look at this one now. I want this point and this point to touch. So again, let's just bring it round touch. Oh, let's have a point. And then this one's going to come up into that point there. All right. So then let's have a look at this last one here. So I can take it this way, like this one to this one. Okay. And then this one all the way up to the point. So we've got this sort of interconnecting shape. I say we have done that design before. So uh, there is a video on that one, but you know, it doesn't hurt to go back, I think, and do these again. So let's come now to the next one. And again, I actually, I'm going to work from this point here and I'm going to bring it down and round, but not so it touches in that corner there. And turn it round. And again, not touching. And again, oh, Bob, can you feel it? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I had quite a lot of fun doing this one. And, uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, I, I, tr I do. I do try and focus on how I'm going to teach it because, of course, you know, we we want a successful tile, don't we? I don't want you to sort of think, what on earth is she doing? 
So it's all about a little bit of practice. As I say, you know, having a bit of paper to hand with this one just sort of helps out a little bit. Uh, Rose, this is in the pink tile pack that was on Create and Craft the other, well, the last show. I can't remember what day it was now. It was the other week, the other Sunday. Um, and the little tiny tiles, there were some in those pink and blue packs. Um, but I am going to be bringing them out on their own soon. So um, you can cut a regular tile up or a piece of cardstock at the minute. I'll get back to doing that as soon as I can for you. Okay. Oh, Mitch, muggy cool. Oh, no. Jo, do you know what, Joanna? I had to post it on your... your Facebook post yesterday because I think what you're doing with the tiles because I don't know if you that if you've got book five um, there's variations and it just shows you how you can do some of the tiles in different ways and Jo's got some fabulous tiles that she's been doing it's like, it seems like she's having far too much fun <laughs> oh Rose you've got some okay so again same as before from there and I'm coming all the way up to the point and then I'm going to turn it round and same with this one, see here, if you need to mark it, mark it first all the way up to the point okay oh Nadia, I, you can always mute me if my, <laughs> if my voice is distorted alright, we can see what we're doing so here, see this line? I'm going to bring this line up and round to touch this one. And this one up and round to touch this. Okay, see this one here? I've got this sort of line. It's going to go to here. So whether you come down or whether you go up, see then this one is going to go up to that point. And then let's have a look at this one. So. From here, look, it's going to here. There we are. And then here to here. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at this next one. Same again, look, from this point around. See, by the time you've done four of these, you'll know what you're doing. <laughs> from this curve to here. Remember, don't go all the way up to the point. And this one round but not to the point because so then again give myself a little bit of direction so there I can now go into that corner and then same again round and into that corner and then next one round and into that corner so of course this one here it's going under to there this one goes under to there. Oh, it would, Nancy. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely pattern to do and the interlocking is fantastic. And people do say, oh, how did you do that? And you would have said, you know what? I drew it. Absolutely. There we go. To there. So we've got this sort of frame going around with this little squarish shape in the middle. There we are. Let's have a look at that. Okay. So now this is where things um, change a little bit. You could draw in this middle section here. Absolutely no problem. The design we're going to do next would fit in there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bring one of these little tiny tiles in because that sits in there and I'm actually going to draw this next bit on this tile here. So I'm now going to come in with um, my black pen. Okay. And just as before, I want to put a little bit of a border in there. So again, I'm just going to bring that tile in and just sort of draw myself um, a bit of a border. There we are. See, see what would be quite nice is I could have used my um, fine liner pen and perhaps used purple. So I get, uh, you know, purple and white and then white and purple would be quite nice, wouldn't it? But uh, I'm just going to go in and i use my black fine line for this. There we go. All right, so that's our tile. So that is exactly the same as if I was to draw it in there. So whether you draw a border in there or you've got your extra tile. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
they so sweet? They're lovely. Do you know the first time we printed them and cut them off? Yeah, we did think how cute. <laughs> they are really quite nice to work with. They're great for a five minute tangle, things like that. So. Or of course, if you're trying to do something new and practice something, these are great. Okay. All right, so let's have a look. I'm gonna sort of put um, dot in the middle. Now again, if at this point you think, do you know what? I really wanna use a pencil for this. Please don't worry about it, use a pencil. So I'm gonna sort of have a bit of a, there we go. I'm not trying to split the space up now. You see, I've got a little bit more there than here. So I've got two dots there and then two here. Now if I look at how wide my pen is, you can see there, look, it's sort of, oh, that's pretty, pretty good guess that, isn't it? There we go. I've got my dots. <laughs> That's sort of about as wide as my, my pen. So I'm gonna just do the same here. Look, I'm gonna have two there and then two there. All right. And then I'm gonna have just one in each of those corners just to make, make it like um, a square in the middle. Okay, so we've got that. All right, deep breath. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to come this side the dots and join the two together. And then this side the dots and join the two together. Okay. And then I'm going to come diagonally and I'm going to repeat that. One there and one there. Okay. So then I'm going to turn my tile and then I'm going to do the same again. So you're in, on the inside and on the inside, then on the inside and the inside. It's still quite loose, okay. Okay. All right, so this time I'm going to do an outside line there. So just to sort of finish that off and then an outside there. Okay. Turning it round outside don't worry that if it doesn't quite fit it's fine and then outside so we've got sort of the center bit done okay so now i'm going to work around this section here and i'm going to sort of be on the inside of these dots i've got a straight line but this time i'm going to take this one and i want it go going up to the corner so i'm going to put a bit of a curve in to get it to join from here up to here, okay? So I'm gonna turn it, <clears throat> excuse me. And again, I'm gonna put a straight line in there. And then from here, I'm gonna go up, but I'm gonna turn it into that point. And then I'm gonna turn it again. And a straight line from there to there. And then from here, Again, all the way up into that point. And again, a straight line. And from here, all the way up into that point. Okay, so that's sort of our first point and first sort of section going on there. So in, what we need to do now is we need to sort of have a look at this area here. See where I've got these two dots? So I'm sort of wanting them to join, but I've got this line in the way. So let's just have a look at that. If I was to sort of draw it there, see it's a curve. But what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna draw it here. I'm just gonna draw it you know, from there to there. So it looks like it's going underneath, you see? Okay, so next one, I'm gonna come back here. And again, this dot to this dot, but I'm gonna do it as a curve, you see? But then it's gonna look, there you go, see it's going underneath that one. Same again, look. So you see how I sort of imagine where it's gonna go before I draw it? And when you're comfortable with it, then put your pen down. Let's do the same again. 
So here to here, and again, I'm going to imagine where it's going to go. And when you're comfortable with it, draw it in. Okay. So then, of course, we've got this point here. This has got to go somewhere. So see, I've got my line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, imagine that this is going up to here. But it's going to start there and go up. And again, it's going to start here and go up. And again, it's going to start here and up. And the last one, here and up. Okay? So you see now where I've got this extra bit, I can come in and just sort of fill that in. Where I've got dots here. I'm just going to turn that into a bit of a point. And then here, like just a little bit of a point. Turning it round. Same again. And there. Just a little bit of a point. Okay. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that there. Let's have a look at that. Let's see how it looks with the uh, tile together. See, so we've got a bit of a design going on. See, that's my, my cutting that my tiles aren't exactly square, but that's okay. So it sort of fits like this, but we've still got a little bit to do on it. So, okay, let's uh, let's just take a look. I'm going to ignore that one for a minute and stick with this one here. So let's, um, let's just put in a, a little aura here. So I'm just going to draw around that shape. Just adding in that line there, see? See this way, a free hand's fine. So, so we're going to have our first uh, ever tangly baby. Excellent. This, um, this he or she will be the youngest tangler because I'm sure they're working alongside you right now. That'll be good. So see, just adding that little aura in. And I hope I went at the right pace there so everybody could have a go at that. It's just working out which, which line to put in where and when. <laughs> okay, so okay, now let's, uh, I'm just going to fill in. Let's add a bubble there. And then I could do another bubble here, but I'm going to do one slightly going underneath. And then underneath underneath and I'm just going to fill in those little gaps and then the same this way underneath each time and then again just fill in the gaps same again okay so let's uh, put a bubble in okay and the next one one see so just sort of filling in the bubbles and when we start with the, the full round one in the middle and then of course we uh, we add those extras in a little bit later there we go I'll turn it round and again centerpiece and then fill in from there Fill in that little bit in. Of course, you could use a different colour there if you want to. Okay. There you go. Alright. So, won't be uh, much longer, we'll be near this airfield. <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. We've, um, we've found somewhere that's going to allow us to run classes and not just for tangling but hopefully other crafty classes as well um, if you think oh i don't know it's might be a bit of a way there is a premier inn down the road so not obviously down the road not that far down the road so uh, you know we're trying to think of, of every possibility if we can let's have a look at this all right you see so we've got that kind of thing going on like that so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come in with my, uh, I've 
I've got some, I've got the pastel fine liners here. I thought that'd be quite nice to use. I've got the, uh, the pink, and purple, pink and purple. So I think um, I've also got from my bronzer brush pens, I've got a darker purple. But again, you can come on in and you can use whatever colour you like, or you can just use pencil, whatever, whatever you want to work with. So here we go. All right. So here we go. What I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to come in, see where this one's going underneath this here. I've got my darkest colour. All I'm going to do is add some dots. Now you notice that I've got quite a few dots here and it's getting less as I go up bank. Now the, the idea with dots, okay, we want actual dots and we don't want slidey lines. If you hold your pen at an angle, you're going to get a, a bit more of a line. So we really want to be holding it upright and gently, ever so gently, just touching the paper, you see? Just touching the paper. You see, you see, I've got more of those dots at this where it's going underneath, then it's sort of breaking away. Okay. So then, same on this side. Okay. And then you see here, it's, that's going underneath there, so we need some here too. I mean, I've got four different colour pens here, so I'm not going to go over the top crazy with one colour. There you are. And then the same here. Okay. You could always come and add more a little bit later. So don't think you've got to do it all right now. You could just do a few and see how it looks. There we are. So just above each side. And then of course we're going to have some there. Now I know my pen's slightly on an angle there, so just be aware because if I put it straight up, it's directly, see, it's directly under the camera. But if I did it straight, you wouldn't, uh, oh, oh, lost it now. You wouldn't see what I was doing. Hang on a second. Oh, what have I done with that? See, I've moved it now and done something with it. Okay. I've lost my focus. Right. I think so, Chris. I don't know what I've done there. There we are. It just didn't want me f to move it for a little while. There we go. All sorted now. Okay. So everywhere it's sort of underneath. Adding those little dots. More by the line and getting less as I work my way around. Okay? Alright, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, Chris, you know, I've just <laughs> I've just been writing something about tiles and I nearly put your name in brackets. <laughs> oh you'll understand. I'll explain a little bit more when <laughs> And I can, but it's, it's still quite, you know, in its development stage. So, yeah. It's nice, though, isn't it? It's nice. We do love you. We do. Okay. So this is a really nice way to add colour without colouring in. But it's also a good way to encourage or bring out some sort of shade. And it just gives it a little bit of a different look. And it's very, very therapeutic. So it fits in quite nicely with what it is we're, we're trying to do here and just relax for a little while. So don't sort of press on too hard. You don't want to force the issue. We just want to take it easy. So I'm just going to bring in um, a bit of, I've got like a dark pink when I say dark pink it's it's still in the pastels section now, and I know we've not used those pastel pens since uh, taking them on with the travel set earlier in was it last month so it's kind of nice to come in and use them okay so I'm sort of going over and just bringing in you see the more we start to add 
taking the time. See, I'm taking a few up into that area there. But again, I'm still concentrating around that line there. Yes, Leslie Alf is on the case. Tea is coming. To be fair, she did just take one off me. I thought drunk. <laughs> I suppose you notice that, that um, Leslie has been packing your parcels for the shop a little bit now. So it's been giving me a chance to get on with doing some design work. So she's doing, she's been really kind of taking that bit over and working on that. So it's great, you know, you work here and every day is different. You're going to do, never do the same job twice. Down to thinking about how we pack stuff, and yeah, so we've had a new part for one of our machines. So John's been working on getting that back up to speed. And then, of course, he's he's got his list of jobs as well. He's going to look at some new machinery, and he's obviously got to work out how we're going to move. That's I've delegated that job to him too. All exciting, lots of things going on. So, yeah. All right. So, I know this is taking a little bit, you know, of our time up in terms of tangling, but I think it's really important for us to see where this sort of goes. Okay, I'm going to bring in. This is my lightest pink. This is my serious pastel pink now, and I'm just going to add a little bit. Let's go a little bit larger so you can see. You see there, look, I'm just adding in just a touch of it. It's so a few little bits down there, so it works together. And again, there's no need to press on with it, so just remember that you, you know, breathe and just sort of ease off the pressure so you don't want to be uh, pressing on too hard with this. You're just going in with it. There we go. And again, just because uh, my pen's not quite sort of stood up so if your pen stood up and you just take your time with it you'll get really nice little dots okay so you can see sort of what i'm doing there and of course i've still left that little bit of a white gap in the middle where i can because uh, you know we, we still want that dark and that light section going on just uh, take your time with it. You see there, but it's quiet. I miss that one with the other colour, you see? You spot it as you go in. So I'm just going to add a few in. Okay. You see, it sort of comes up into this space here. But only sort of, as, it's like they're scattering. They're all sort of in their little groups here. And then they sort of scatter out and go their own way. Let's, let's have a look at it. A little bit like confetti, isn't it? All right. Okay, so I am going to bring my pencil in now. And let's just add a little bit of uh, pencil see, over the top of the pens. You see? Underneath, you know where we sort of started with the darker dots? So just sort of in those little sections where we were darker, where all those pieces start to go underneath each other. I'm just going to go in with a pencil. Okay, and if you're not sure, you can go in light and you can just build it up as you go in. Right. Okay, tortillon. And again, I'm just going to work either side the line. Now, of course, we could have shaded it first and then put the pen over the top. But uh, it depends. It's whatever you want to do. It's, it's kind of nice just to go in with the dots and the colour first and then come back in afterwards. See, and that just sort of gives it that little bit of shadow. Again, I'm leaving a white gap. a great idea isn't it tangling the car 
that's what I used to do. I say used to, uh, before, before I knew it was tangling, I suppose. I used to do it sitting outside somebody's house while my son had guitar lessons. And these things you do. You, know, you just need time to sit and chill, don't you? Pass the time, really. Okay, so this is looking kind of nice, isn't it? And, and a little bit of colour in there, but then we've added colour over the top of pencil before, but this is a little bit different. Okay, let's have a look. See a bit there. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back in with that black pen. <laughs> no, Chris, not while driving. No, because of course you'd put too much on what you were doing and not the driving. And I'm just going back over those lines, you know, in the middle. So I'm not going to draw out all of it again. Just um, sort of the way, you know, when they're crossing underneath. So yeah, right, I'm just going to do that bit there, I think. Yeah, I think I will. That bit there, look. There we go. All right. So let's uh, let's just add a little bit of pencil to uh, those little bubbles. You see, I've gone all one way, then I've gone the other there. So I'm going to do the same. Say the same. Add a little bit of a highlight on those. Of course, you could come in and you could uh, add some colour to those if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep them. Uh, I wanted the main point to be uh, the bit we've done there. Okay, just to soften them up a little bit. Again, try not to cover everything. If you can with graphite, you want to leave a little bit of white there. There we are. See, hardly touching it, just giving it a little bit. Same with this one. Okay, and same again. It doesn't help make a difference when you put a little bit of pencil on. Okay, let's just have a look at that then. All right, so we've got that very definite crisscrossing going on in the middle. Love it. I think I'm going to just bring in my pencil again and I'm just going to add some around that shape. Okay, same here. Just around the shape. Just want to sort of bring it out so we're getting a bit of definition in the middle there. There we go. Now, of course, if you've done this on one tile, so you're still working on your larger one, it's absolutely fine. You'd be doing exactly the same thing as I'm doing here. So I'm just going to gently go over that, just to sort of bring that out. So I'm not trying not to sort of affect those bubbles, but I can help it. Just sort of softening the edges a bit, so there we go. And this one, yeah. So, have you all had a little bit of a practice with it? You got your little bit of scrap paper out or whatever just to give it a go? All right, yeah, I'm just going to put that up to one side and I'm just going to come on to this one now and I'm going to come back to my oh, as it throws it across the room. My white jelly roll, okay, my white pen. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna just work on this one here for now and I'll go I'll go around it as I am. So again now dots with this a little bit different because you've got to get it going. Alright, so we don't wanna sort of get lots and lots of big dots, we just wanna sort of dab it a little so it's sort of more in that corner point, you see. Just gonna do a few. See how it sort of just sort of fades off. And the same here. All right. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few in there. I'm gonna colour that one in in the middle. A few in here. See, so that gives the impression now that you can actually go underneath that one. See that it's really interlocking. Turn it to uh, this one there. And again, oh, let's just start it off. 
See, sometimes it doesn't want to do dots off its own back. You've got to sort of encourage it. There we are. You see where it's sort of, it's going. It's going back in there. And then dots. They actually did a, a, a you can't really call it a picture, it's a painting. It's a picture that I uh, drew of my saxophone and I got some uh, you know, like music in the background and I did the whole saxophone, the whole picture actually in dots and it variated all in different colours, it's very very rainbow like but they sort of graduated so the red went into the purple which went into the blue and uh, yeah it's, it looks really effective you know even if you only use one colour and a bit of a pencil, you know, to add shade if you need an extra bit. It works really well. There we are. Okay. Not an idea. Fingers crossed, eh? See, that helped me if I colored that in, it's sort of, there we go, get it going. Gel pens are great, aren't they, once they work, it's fine. They're brilliant. There we are. And I'm almost. Okay, so here it starts to get quiet as you use these little dots. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to stick, I'm going to come in, I've got my white pastel pencil, or a chalky pencil if you've got one. Quick sip of tea, of course. And all I'm going to do with the, this, you see where I actually got some, this going underneath. I'm just going to add a little bit of white to there. And then of course that one's going under there, so a bit of white there. Same there. And the same there. So you see every time it's going underneath, we're going to add a little bit of this white in. Even gonna see where we said let's, let's just add a little bit there as well. You see underneath that section? Just on each one. There we go. So let's uh, turn around and do that all over again. See once you've done one, you've done all into that one. So wherever we're going underneath, we're gonna have a little bit of that white. And then of course the same, just under there. Now it doesn't matter whether you do the same side here, it really doesn't. Just, as long as you do one of the sides, it's fine. And then here we go. Next one. Into there. And then this one. Okay. This one. Okay, just a bit underneath. Okay, and next bit. Now, of course, if you wanted to add a bit of colour, if you used, you've got the purple towel, and you used maybe a, a light pink pencil, you would get a similar sort of effect. Just give you a bit, a bit of colour. Don't think because you're using a coloured tile, you um, you can't put colour on top of it. You certainly can. It's fine. Okay. All right. Let's have a quick look at this then. So, oh, hang on. There we go. So we've got a bit of uh, bit of shadows going on there. This is kind of nice. So I'm just come back in with that white, and I'm just going to add some all the way around that sort of shape I did there. Now, of course, if you're using a white tile, then by all means, you go in with your, your regular pencil, or you could use a coloured pastel, it's absolutely fine. There we go. So, okay. I'm not going to add any sort of shadow or blending to these, but I am, I am going to do on the uh, the outside there. Now, you can see my tortillon's dirty because I've been using graphite. If for any reason you can't sharpen it, you know, you can't file it down so it's clean, turn it round and use the other end. 
because all I'm doing is just giving that edge a little bit of a soften so let's just do a little bit of a, a zigzag effect you see and it'll just suffice and it'll give you a, that little bit of blending that you need there we go. until you can get to your nail file and you know clean up the uh, the other end Yeah, I'm, just, I'm sort of going along in like a bit of a zigzag fashion. Okay, zigzag as such. Just to sort of get it going and then sort of finishing it off smooth. But I haven't really touched this bit here. I've sort of left it. So we've got that kind of thing going on. Okay, now shall we do the same? Yeah, I think we will. I'm going to come in and do the same around this edge here. So again, you, you could if you want, even, uh, it is Maureen, isn't it? It's lovely. I'm just thinking how much more sugar can I put on it? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can actually use uh, your regular pencil as well. Even on the purple tile, it'll still work, it'll be fine. But I just wanted a little bit of a, a distinction today between the, the purple tile and the, the white tile. So here we go, same sort of thing with circles this time. There we are. See, so just sort of giving it that little edge. Same here. So you can see I'm, I'm still on a plain board. I've still lost my tangle board. I have no idea where I've put it. And uh, I do have a new one, but I've not, I've not touched it with a pen yet. But I do intend to. I can't have a plain tangle board, it's just not on. There we are. Uh, next one. Oh, move that one out of the way a minute. Don't need that one for a minute. So again, just so. You see that end works pretty good, doesn't it? Gives you a really th defined edge. Alright, okay. So, there we go. That's my main sort of tile. So if we now come on in and Add in the centerpiece. There we are. Let's have a look at that. All right. I still think we could actually probably go in and just add a touch more pencil in places. See, I'm just sort of going over where the pencil was before. Now, of course, you could attach this. You could use little photo corners and put this in. You could uh, just stick it there. Or you could put a little line across and you could, actually that'd be quite nice, just a, a little slit in in your actual tile and uh, just put that in place. There we go. Just sort of soften that a little bit. Okay. There we are. Oh Donna, you know, sometimes when you feel like that, perhaps it's worth posting just to say you know what what do we suggest is there anything we can help you with you know never feel that you've got a tile that you're not happy with and you're on your own if you post it on the santangle group page that, that that page is is seriously just for you know just for sort of helping people out so if you've got questions or there's things you're not sure of then uh, please go ahead and just just add it on there and, and ask the question Oh, decision then, I write my name there, look. Alright. So, there is our tile for today. Now, it looks seriously complicated, doesn't it? But really, it's not been. We've uh, we've started from scratch, we took it, took it easy. But I also want to show you uh, the blue version, because, of course, that's our, our purpley colour. Now, here I've got my blue on. Hang on a second, let's go out a little bit. There we are. Now, this one, I've sort of drawn the main focus, the main piece on the middle there. Now, you'll notice here, I've actually, you see where we actually work? And we've gone around this one here. With this one, I've actually gone to the edge, you see, and round. So, it's actually created more of slightly bigger effect in there. But it's, you know, we'll not be able to get the bubbles in that one. That's fine. But, of course, doing a, a navy tile means I've, I've come in again and I've used one of these. And uh, then, of course, I've used blue for the dots. 
So you can see just you know, just by swapping it out a little bit, so you're getting this more of a square effect here. Whereas on this one, we've gone for a bit of a bubble. So it's uh, it's quite nice to have a play with. And Haley, the small tiles are, I'm going to say, approximately five centimetres square. So uh, absolutely. It's, um, yeah, I mean, all rows, honestly, don't, don't wait. Try it now. Have a little bit of a practice. Draw yourself a quick square and try it. And the more you practice this, the more you do it. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've really enjoyed doing that. And I think the difference and just messing about with a few different shapes works really quite nicely. You see, we've got completely different kind of centerpieces there when we've started the same thing. But depending on how far you go out, see there, I've gone out quite square. Whereas here we went round. It's, uh, yeah, a bit of a, a nice one to have a play with. So if you like your grids and you want to give it a go, try it with a few different colours, try it on one tile and uh, yeah, just uh, just have a little bit of a play and, uh, and enjoy it. I've really, really enjoyed doing this one, so I hope you do too. And uh, yeah, all being well, we will be back here for Friday at uh, two o'clock. So yeah, so if you've really just got, got hey, don't worry about it. We've gone step by step from the scratch just to see where uh, so you know where you're going. So have a bit of fun with it. Let me know how you're getting on. And uh, I will see you back here on Friday. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And I will speak to you soon. You take care. Bye.